well, one thing is maybe maybe there's a plus or maybe there's a minus, but he didn't associate himself with the J Japanese community at all, none at all. And we moved. Most people lived close together, you know, in the Japanese. That was in Japantown and so on. But we lived uh, way out in 50, uh, northeast, 58th and Burnside is where he bought a house. And I went to, of course, I went to school. I was the first Asian to go to that grammar school called Mount Tamer Grammar School, first Asian. So I didn't know that that is a very big plus because you don't see any other Asians, so you don't think of yourselves as being Asian. You see, you see. So I thought I was just white like all the other people. I'm a boy, and all my friends were treated me on a very equal basis. Not have no, there was no such thing as prejudice or anything. The other point is, I didn't speak English at all until I got into first grade. And my father didn't know when to take uh, start school, so school had already started. Then he brought me to school and asked the principal, uh, you know, uh, is this, oh, he should have been here three months ago, <laughs> <laughs> or something like that, you know. And so I learned my English in first grade. Mm 